Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at a short demo of transient thermal analysis, which is basically the heat transfer in between the parts and the change in temperature before the parts reach their own final steady state uh, status. So if we go under transient thermal, and then for simplicity here, we are going to look at a simple rectangular um, plate. So here I have created a square um, with dimensions of 80 mils and symmetric about the origin, although that doesn't really matter here. And then I go to concept and then make a surface from this sketch, right? And uh, then I apply it and then I generate it and then I provide some two mil thickness. And now this part is ready. I can go to the modeling, but before that, you want to make sure that uh, you can do a 2D analysis in this case because it's a simple analysis. So first, make sure you change it to 2D and then go to what? To the modeling. And there you can apply your uh, basically boundary conditions, your uh, thermal loads and everything, and then look at the uh, transient solution. Okay, so this is where uh, you have the part and the first thing you want to do is to create a mesh. And here we go ahead and create a mesh and uh, we'll see here it made it all using hexa elements, uh, which is good for simple problems, but since we want to basically apply conditions uh, next to the walls and on the walls, Basically, it's better to do refinements on the wall. So here we go ahead and apply refinements on uh, all of these edges. If it does, allow me to select the edges. I want refinement next to all of these. So hopefully that gives me a better mesh. There we go. So now you see it's still quadrilateral, but there is a smaller mesh, and you can always make it a smaller. And I have several videos on how to uh, know whether your mesh is good or not. So now I go ahead and uh, first set up the initial temperature. Let's say I start at the room temperature, 20 degrees, and then I go to apply my condition. So let's say on this end, I keep it at a fixed uh, uh, temperature of 100 Celsius and then um, this end here I'm going to apply heat and make it perfectly insulated and then I allow the top two edges to have convection and the film coefficient let's go with 10 and the temperature of the fluid around it let's make it for uh, 25 okay so now you have set up your um, conditions here. Now you can go under solution and look at the temperature here on the whole thing. You can look at the heat flux if you want, right? Total heat flux or directional heat flux as you wish, right? So for example, let's say I want to look at the directional heat flux and I want to look at this wall here and I want to look in the Y direction. Right, I want to see how much heat is going in that direction. I might also want to look at the temperature variation at one specific location. So here I add uh, another thermal temperature and uh, instead of all body, I say I want it at a specific node. So instead of this guy, I choose this one. Let's say I want to go look at that node over there, right? And I can rename it and call it temperature node, right? And uh, I guess my solution is ready, so let's go ahead and solve. It should not take a lot of time because this is a simple mesh and simple problem. So here is your solution, but as you clearly see, if you look at the temperature in this node, right, if you look at this plot, which it is going up from like 20 degrees, first it drops a little bit and then keeps going up to like 22 degrees, the final time of the simulation is only one second. And temperature tra heat transfer is typically not an extremely fast problem unless your material is really good. So um, 
it's much much slower compared to many other dynamic systems so what you want to do is you want to go to this analysis setting and the end time you give it enough time right so maybe i need a hundred second or a thousand second on something and solve it again so now here we use 100 seconds and now if you look at the temperature you see now it is asymptotically converging to like 76 degrees so that means i have given it enough time to converge right because you see it's not changing much more after let's say for example um, 80 seconds or so you see it is just going about 76 it's not even getting to 77 so that means I have given it enough time and now this is kind of like your steady state solution. It is going to go to such a state, right? And then here you can see the directional flux that you see on this side, which is closer to the temperature source. You have more heat flux and as you get closer to the insulation edge on this insulated edge, you have less and less heat flux, right? So uh, in here you can look at the average data. You see one curve here. So this is what you can do for a, a basic um, transient thermal analysis. And if you want, you can add more steps. So if you want, you can add several steps. During those several steps, you change your temperature gradually from beginning to the final, or you use tabular data or anything for that matter. But what's important is once you provided all the information, then you can see if you have given it enough time and whether your temperatures are going to get to a, a final basically a steady state a value or not okay and this is the basics of transient thermal so hopefully the video was useful to you and i will see you in my next lecture